Hey everyone, Carl back with Blue Root Lessons bringing you a deep dive in the world of Pokemon featuring Reggie Gigas. Uh, this is another one of those combos, quote unquote, where it's going to be more of just looking at Reggie Gigas itself because that's the main part. Uh, the Weezing usually offers support, or you could also play it with things like Whimsicott, Latios, other Pokemon like that. But uh, if you like what you see, uh, make sure to hit that like button, ring the bell for notifications for when new videos go live, subscribe, leave a comment down below what other series 7, 9 speculation stuff you want me to talk about. Um, I've got a couple more things lined up combo wise, and then I'm going to get into some more nitty gritty specific Pokemon things. But uh, let's get right into it. So Regigigas is a very hyper offensive threat uh, with one big flaw. Um, its ability is slow start. Slow start halves your attack and speed for the first five turns while it's on the field. Um, so you're doing half damage and you're at half speed, which Regigigas' base stats are, I believe it's a hundreds across the board or something similar to that. Anywho, it's it's a big detriment having slow start. However, you have a way to give it uh, a full strength um, using neutralizing gas, which is the ability, one of the abilities of Weezing. Uh, which removes all abilities except for a handful of ones. I think like as one disguise uh, There's a couple others that aren't removed, but This makes Reggie Giga start at full strength So it gets all of its attack all of its speed, which is makes it a very powerful Dynamax target um, and Honestly requires a lot of your opponents direction and attention towards it because otherwise it just takes over the game and just picks up three KOs and There's nothing else your opponent can do um, thought to be unplayable at the, when it was like leaked that we were getting Regigigas in the Sword and Shield. Um, having Weezing, even having Weezing alongside of it, just kind of just like got brushed aside. Um, thought it was too much support. Weezing wasn't going to do anything for the team. Uh, Dynamax Pokemon means it's not as good and things like that. Um, it took off though and was garnering a lot of attention when it made finals at Players Cup 2. Uh, also had the duo of Venusaur and Torkoal alongside of it. So it was the pseudo sun team with Reggie Gigas. So you have to figure out what the lead to play against, which we'll talk about when, here in a little bit play, when playing with the team and things like that. But um, for Series 8, it was very popular on Zacian early on. And uh, almost since it almost always wanted the Dynamax and Zacian can't Dynamax, it kind of just felt hand in hand. Um, Kind of fell off though as people started bringing will o wisp and things like that to beat Zacian. So, even though it put off a lot of offensive pressure, it kind of just fell off. Uh, common partners for Weezing, uh, for Regigiga specifically, are the common most common one is Weezing. Uh, both Galarian and regular Cantonian uh, are super popular with it. Um, it's required to be part of the combo, but notably Weezing also gets a lot of support moves in Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, things like that. Also hits Fairy types with Sludge Bomb, can hit Grass types that can cause problems. Uh, other notable Pokemon that combo with the Regigigas are Latios with Simple Beam, which uh, replaces your ability with Simple, and then Whimsicott and Comfey, which both uh, can replace it with Insomnia via Worry Seed. Uh, these three, however, aren't as reliable as redirection can be a problem for them. But the big ones, it's still pl plausible if you don't want to use Weezing and things like that. Uh, looking at the common moves, it's fairly easy to see. It's like you want three attacks plus protect most of the time. And usually those three attacks are Giga Impact, High Horsepower, and then Ice Punch. Uh, this hits a lot of the format. Uh, high Horsepower specifically raises your special defense as Max Quake. Giga Impact reduces speed as Max Strike, and Ice Punch changes the weather to Hail to fight those Sun Teams and Rain Teams and Sand Teams. Um, other coverage moves you can run are Darkest Lariat, Heavy Slam, Iron Head. Uh, you get Fighting Coverage and Superpower and in Brick Break. So things like that. And if you're looking for something a little bit more supporty, uh, you can run Wide Guard. Wide Guard's not as good in Series 7 and 9, but it was very good in Series 8, and that's kind of why it's popped up on Regigigas more now. Um, common items, um, our life orb is the most common. Uh, a lot of the times it's just life orb and three attacks and protect. Uh, you can also run silk scarf, uh, assault vest was popular in series seven for a while. Lumberry was another one that was very popular. So you can kind of play around with it a little bit, but life orb is going to be the item on Regigigas most of the time. 
the common move sets are also just very straightforward. Uh, you want as much speed as possible. You want as much attack as possible. Uh, and usually you put that point in special defense instead of HP just to play around Porygon to download shenanigans. Um, the move sets that vary are usually on the Weezing. The Weezing's EVs can vary from anywhere from being enough speed to outspeed things after a max strike to being super defensive and super bulky. So it, don't ever count out the Weezing being like standard non stuff, non like standard stuff. It's usually just a little bit varied. Um, Shukaberry on the Weezing is normal because you don't want to go down to random ground type moves. Um, and when we get into how to beat it, that's usually one of the things you have to play around is like, okay, so it's going to have Shukaberry. How can I Oko this Weezing so that Regigigas doesn't do as much damage to me? Building with Regigigas is fairly straightforward. As long as you have Weezing, anything else is possible. It can be put onto almost anything. Um, normally, you slap on other strong leads to go with it. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, Venucol is a very popular thing. Uh, you can play it with Rain. You can play it with Sand. You can play it with uh, Beat Up, anything like that, uh, which gives you a leg up because your opponent has to pick a lead to beat. And if you pick the other one and they led wrong or they can't deal with it, you have a huge leg up on your opponent. Um, the big thing about Regigigas is it's a hyper offensive team. Be ready to just slap attack, slap attack, slap attack. Just attack, attack, attack with it. Don't don't let up off the pressure because otherwise you give your opponent a way to get in and get underneath that Regigigas and start to pick up KOs after Dynamax is done. But uh, the thing is, it's like you want to be able to keep pressuring after Regigigas is done Dynamaxing. So making sure you actually have pressure on your opponent still after Gigas is done is really important. Beating Regigigas though is is hard if you don't think about it. Like being a normal type has really good coverage, hits a lot of types that would normally give it an issue. Things like Ghost and Fighting, it can still hit them really, really hard. Um, but speaking of Ghost types, it's a good switch in to have because a lot of the time they're going to max strike spam to lower your speed. So being able to switch in, negate a turn of Dynamax essentially uh, is a very good thing to have. Uh, Pokemon like Spectrier and Dusclops come to mind. Um, ways to redu reduce its or lower its damage output is super important. Screams, Charm, Will-O-Wisp, uh, Baby Doll Eyes. Uh, it, intimidate doesn't work. Do not think Intimidate's going to cover it because you cannot intimidate it because Weezing's neutralizing gas turns off Intimidate. It does not work. Do not get baited into that. Um, and focusing Weezing can also be a path to victory. Uh, if the Weezing usually, I say usually in air quotes here, goes for um, goes for uh, Protect on turn one. That's not always the case. If the Weezing doesn't think it's in danger of getting o code, it will usually go for a Will-O-Wisp or a Taunt or a Sludge Bomb to kind of help pick up a KO somewhere. So use that knowledge to your advantage and try to pick up the KO on the Weezing. That way the Rage Gigas doesn't do as much damage and Slow Start gets activated and then you can intimidate and do whatever. So wrapping up with Regigigas here, it's very strong and durable, but slow. having its ability on is its Achilles heel. If you can get rid of the Weezing or force it to switch out um, or just stall out the Dynamax so it's not a giant huge threat anymore, Regigigas will kind of just fall down and you can seize victory out of the claws of defeat. Um, but when we're building with Regigigas, remember to flesh out the rest of the team so you can deal with it after Dynamax is over. Uh, make sure you plan for Urshifu. Make sure you plan for um, other ghost types, things like Spectrier, Dusclops, Dragapult. These are all good Pokemon against Gigas specifically. Uh, be ready for Will-O-Wisp. Be ready for uh, Baby Doll Eyes and other moves like that. So yeah. Uh, I want to thank everyone for hanging out and watching this video today. Make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications for when new videos go live.
come join the Discord server. Discord link's down below. Uh, we're doing signups for our Little Root Lessons qualifier. The first one is up on May 1st. Signups are open now. You do not have to have your team ready right now. Uh, I know there's a question for it in the, in the signup, but don't worry about it. You can give it to us later. It's fine. Uh, $5 entry fee. Have to be part of the Discord because this Discord's in the sign, the sign up link is in the Discord. So definitely come check out the Discord and hang out there. Um, and have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're in the world. And we will see you all next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>